Welcome to lesson three. On lesson three, we're going to be covering quite a bit of topics, and some of them get a little bit tricky. So it would be good to do some reading beforehand if you haven't already done so. Uh, Color on the web, you have to read this first, and then CSS tutorial on the W3 Schools website is useful. So if this stuff is confusing at all, I want you to go back and read the CSS tutorial on the W3 Schools website. The link is right here on my webpage. Okay? So I'm going to be covering an introduction to CSS. I'm going to talk about the style rule. I'm going to talk about the parts of the style rule. You're going to learn about element selectors. I'm going to teach you how to modify the body element with the style rule. You're going to talk about how to change the background color of the browser using CSS. Learn how to change color of the text with it using CSS. And learn how to change the size and style of a font using CSS. In this video, we're only going to cover an introductory to CSS and learning about the style rule and the parts of the style rule. The next videos are going to cover other things. So, let's get this started. CSS, what is it? Well, CSS stands for Cascading Style Sheets. This allows us to modify any HTML element that we want in a great variety of ways. And I'll show you. To get started, we have to figure out how to use it. We're going to use a style sheet called a global style sheet and it goes up in the head of the document so in between the opening and closing head right underneath the title I'm going to change the title here to my first style sheet right below here underneath title and above closing head is where I'm going to put my style sheet Okay, style sheet always has to look like this. It's got an opening and closing style element, opening and closing style tag. And inside of the opening style tag, there's this thing called an attribute. This attribute is the type attribute. It says type equals text slash CSS. Okay, it's very important that you have this. If you don't have it, your style sheet won't work. This tells the browser how to interpret this style rule, okay? It reads the text and interprets it as CSS, the cascading style sheet. Okay, so um, I'm just going to put a style rule in here. I'm going to change all of my paragraphs in the document to red, just so you can see how it's done. I'm going to start with this thing here, P. So I'm going to be modifying paragraphs, and I need curly braces. Inside the curly braces, I need to make a rule. Color, colon, red, semicolon. So this is a style rule here. And what it's going to do is it's going to change all paragraphs, all the text, to the color red. Let's see what I had to start with. Well, I'll show you what it's going to look like. Launch in Firefox. Save it, refresh, there we go. After I saved and refresh, it changed all of the text from black to red. Okay, so let's break this down a little bit. Let's look at this style rule here. So the style rule looked like this, P braces color red. I'm going to bring up a PowerPoint slide here, and I want to talk about all of these things. So P. P is something called a selector. The selector chooses an element that you want to modify. This is called an element selector. I can select el any element within HTML and modify it. I can select my H1s, I can select body, I can select um, bold, emphasis, whatever I want. And I can modify it in lots and lots of different ways. Inside of these braces, I have what's called a declaration block. The declaration block is going to contain a whole bunch of these things called declarations. A declaration de um, tells the browser how my selector is going to be changed. So it's, it says that paragraph will be changed in this manner. It's going to change the color of the text to red. 
Okay, so that's a declaration. It has two parts. It's got something called a property and a value. The property is what part of my selector is going to be changed. So in this case, the color of the text of my paragraph will be changed. The value says how it will be changed or the rate of change. So it says that the color of my paragraph will be changed to red. Okay, so that's a style rule. You have this slide in your notes, just so you know. You can refer back to it. So that's the style rule. 